Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And uh, I just want to say, um, even though I suffered last night, thank you to those. Uh, I'm not going to give any specific shoutouts, but just in general, to get to that 200 subscriber, I just want to thank, say thank you to uh, all my fans, all my subscribers, Chilihead community, um, the local football team, a couple shoutouts that have been promoting my channel along the way. I just want to say thank you guys for that. Um, and then maybe 300 subscribers. There's a few things maybe in the works for that. If you want to post in the comments below some of the things. I know some people have been posting some things. Um, a few things like Pepper X chocolate bar, 100% chocolate bar, a bunch of crazy things like that. Or even something else other than chocolate bar, which is going to be super hard for me anyway. And then eventually we'll get around to uh, naming my hot sauce too. But tonight, just for fun, I'm going to do one of the uh, classics here. So I have my chug glass and I have a classic, which I haven't tried. Actually, I haven't even had Tabasco sauce in a long time, probably in like several years. But I got a standard size bottle of Tabasco sauce. I come in a uh, standard and a large. This is a standard two ounce. And, um, su surprisingly, I never realized this, I thought there was more ingredients in here, but it's just the vinegar, the Tabasco peppers, and salt. So it's just your standard Tabasco, and Tabasco, if you're not sure about the origin, Tabasco is actually a type of chili pepper that came from Mexico, um... And it is, it's it's fairly hot, it's not a super hot pepper, but it's kind of in the ballpark, maybe a little hotter than like a jalapeno, maybe. Um, but it's, it's the straight sauce with the vinegar and the salt, and that's it on the ingredient list, just the Tabasco peppers, salt and vinegar, so it lasts a while. And I'm gonna attempt to chug the whole bottle of Tabasco sauce. This is a standard size. There is a larger size, which is about double the size, but I'm just gonna do the standard and hopefully it comes out of here quickly because people are not used to drinking the whole bottle at one time. So it's got a pretty small hole. So hopefully I can get this coming out sooner than later. It's the little drops, because like I said, people don't anticipate doing a whole bottle of this usually. It's coming eventually, it's starting to come, but it's, it's slow going because it's just drops at a time. Does it have a white cover? No, it's just got a little hole in it, that's oh, it, so I guess I'll just keep it coming. It's a pretty thin sauce. Take me a while to do this. I won't get bored. It's about halfway about, so it's coming. Hopefully it'll all fit in my chug glass. So Tabasco sauce is kind of one of the classic sauces here. I've never been a, a huge user of this one, but uh, a lot of people like Tabasco sauce. It's really easy to find. It's in um, most standard stores. Smell the chili pepper in it. So I'll let you know um, how chugging this whole thing is gonna do. I think I'll just be able to fit it, hopefully, because I'm down to about the final. I'm just down to the tube. And that is it. There's my whole bottle of Tabasco sauce. And it's just enough for a good chug here. So this is it, Tabasco sauce. I can smell the chili pepper in it. I can't remember exactly what it tastes like, but I do have another review that has to deal, deal with Tabasco sauce just slightly. So that'll be coming up uh, very shortly too. Um, and then there's different flavors of Tabasco sauce and different sizes. This is the standard two ounce, standard flavor Tabasco sauce. Okay, um, Mick and Henry Company from Avery Island, LA brand.
Tabasco sauce. What year do you think they made that? Do you know? Well, it's tricky. To, what year? <coughs> well, that's definitely not it. They redid the packaging. It looks like 2018, but this has been, I mean, obviously around a very long time because I remember um, using some Tabasco sauce as a kid, but I haven't had it in years, so like I said, pretty standard ingredients, the vinegar, the pepper, and the salt, and that is it. So it's Tabasco pepper. I've never had the straight Tabasco pepper. Um, I'd be interested in trying that someday. Um, so here's my League of Fire shot glass. Obviously this is not a League of Fire chug, but it should be nice and warm. So here we go. So, I mean, it hits you. It's not super hot. It's definitely not your League of Fire standard chug challenge. But it's a good one. It's obviously not something an average person would want to do. It'd probably be at um, probably close to 10. I would say you value for the whole bottle. Average person put at about an 8. Might be able to do it if you're kind of in the heat, but the stomach might catch up to you later. Not sure if it'll catch up uh, to me or not at all, because I'm used to eating super hot stuff. Chili head value, chugging the whole bottle. I would say it's about a two. It's it's not super bad. I mean, it's got a little bit of heat in your mouth and all the way down. Flavor is is pretty good. I actually probably should be using a little bit of this a little more often in some of my flavoring. I mean, I haven't, like I said, I haven't had Tabasco sauce in years, but the flavor is really, really not that bad. It's pretty pleasant. So, um, obviously a lot of people use it and stuff. You can use it, uh, on ingredients for all kinds of things. I mean, adding it for extra spice. It has pizza, dressings, flavoring on eggs. I mean, you can add it on all kinds of stuff, but really it's not bad. Guess I've been missing out a little bit by not. So, um, it was good. I mean, it's coming down. I still have a, a slight burn in my mouth, a slight burn going down my throat as chug challenges usually do. But, um, I just wanted to see what it would be like to chug a bottle of that. So, I mean, perfectly filled my League of Fire chug glass, so that was good. And that was two ounces. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, somebody wanted me to chug my hot sauce, which would be a lot, lot, lot more hardcore. I don't know if I could even get a whole chug glass of that down, because a spoonful, that burnt me pretty good. So, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I still have some of my homemade hot sauce left, which I'm still working on a name. A few more people chimed in with a few names, so hopefully by the end of this week, maybe I'll do a video or put it in a post below so people can like maybe vote or something. So anyway, it's been the Miss Brad Warren Show again. Thank you all out there, all my subscribers and fans for helping me hit 200 and I don't know, there's people already talking about the 300 already, so I'll have to see about that. Anyway, we'll see you next time on the Mr. Brett Warren Show.